Hello and welcome to Smallbox. I'm Andy and this is Whiskey Review number 16. Um, and what I've got for you today uh, is quite a new bottling. It is indeed. And that is, um, I appreciate it's another small one, don't worry, I, I do want full ones as well. Um, this is the Brook Laddie Laddie 8. Um, a lot of info on that label, you might not be able to make it out. Hopefully, the autofocus is quick enough. Now, this is a travel retail exclusive whiskey. Oh, what a sound! One more time. Oh, and um, this was recently released, um, and this is the bottle that I have left over from uh, a Twitter tasting that I took part in. Um, and uh, yeah, so I like it, it's good. Um, Brooklady, as uh, you are probably well aware, uh, is an Isla um, or whiskey distillery. Um, it is actually uh, now under the uh, steady hand of Adam Hannett since Jim McEwen stepped down. Good stuff. Um, and basically, it's um, it's not very often that I will review travel retail exclusive whiskies, mainly because I don't actually go anywhere. Come to think of it, um, but you know, swings and roundabouts. Um, this particular bottling, as the name suggests, is eight years old. Now, when I heard the Laddie Eight, I got reminiscent of the Laddie Ten. I miss that whiskey so much. I still have a bottle up there, thankfully, that I managed to pick up recently for a good price. And I, oh god, I, I just hope they bring it back soon. I hope that this is a sign of things to come, but don't take my word for that. Um, bottled at 50%, uh, non chill filtered, natural colour. There's the uh, there's colour for you there. Hold that up, a nice sort of light straw, golden straw. Memories of straw. Um, if you're looking at the Geolux colour chart, now it's um, it's quite interesting actually um, because you see a lot of distilleries, uh, particularly the larger distilleries, putting out a lot of travel retail bottlings without an age statement. So it's quite unique that Brook Laddie have not only gone with an age statement, but it's actually a single digit, because um, that might put some people off, um, you know, that are used to the 10s, 12s, 15s, 18s, 21s, etc. So it's, it's quite a bold move. So, uh, I mean, I'm going to give it a bit of a nose and a, a taste on the palate first without water, but from, from um, previous experience, it, it does actually take water really well. Because the, the thing that I really get on my nose now without any water is farmyard and that is very akin to, as you'll know, that I sort of touched on the Octomore review um, in one of my earlier reviews, that um, it's sort of like a sweet haylage smell, like summer cut grass kind of thing. It's very farmyardy. Sort of like a tart apple, or apple tart, if you want to uh, switch those around. Good consistency, thick, oily, it's creamy, it's spicy, I think nutmeg, cinnamon, got two tons of vanilla, lemon, um, sort of like a cheesecake, you know, towards the end. I've still not got two full teaspoons of this. There we go, right, okay. Yes, I'm a swiller, alright, alright, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll do the old. Oh, oh, there we go. Honestly, the amount of times I've dropped glass doing that, I'm useless. So cack Um Now, um, it's, it's probably no secret to those of you that actually know me that I am quite a fan of Brook I like the way they do things, I like their honesty, I like their openness, and I like the people that work there. They are some of the friendliest and most honest, open people that you'll ever come across. They're fantastic. Um, I've just realised I've actually got Brook glass as well, so I'll turn that around. Um, I've not got my t-shirt on though, so I'm not going too fanboyish at this stage. So, with a couple of drops of water, 
And those uh, farmyard notes are still there, the apple's still there, but you've also got a very creamy vanilla custard um, as well now. Um, and something I actually picked up in the, the Twitter tasting, um, I'm also still getting now, which is it's kind of, I was on my own with this one, understandably. Um, envelope glue. So when you're signing someone's birthday card or if you're sending a letter at work and you're licking the envelope and you get that sort of like envelope glue sort of smell. Uh, I'm getting that as well, but it's in a good way, it's actually quite reassuring. Uh, a lot of lemon, sea spray, um, samphire, yeah, samphire, very waitrose. Uh, there's a touch of smoke in there as well, not much, but just a little tiny little wisp of smoke. And uh, sort of like refresher sweets. Um, or palm of violet sweets. A little bit of toffee in there as well. So, on the palette. It's very vibrant. Um, almost fizzy. Um, you know, like the sherbet dips. Again, we're going back to the confectionery. Uh, sherbet dip, so comes in a tube with a bit of licorice, stick the licorice in, pop the sherbet, you know, because it gets covered in sherbet, pop it in your mouth, that's what you get. It's almost fizzy. Um, honey, more vanilla, which is good. Um, and it is, I mean, I'm still going back and I can smell it from here, from where the glass is, and I'm still getting those farmyard notes, which, as I, again, I touched on the Altamore review, is quite comforting from my point of view, because I have grown up in quite rural areas and I like it. it. Reminds me of home, even though I am home. It's a lovely oily consistency. Water's not taking that away. Um, oaky, a bit of oak influence. And then um, something Something else that um, is quite left of field. <laughs> elderflower wine, um, I'm guessing. Or elderflower champagne. You know, when you go out in summer, collect some elderflower and try around at making something that inevitably blows up under the sink. Um, very sweet, florally, almost herbaceous um, kind of, uh, kind of flavour in there. Um, unripe green fruit. Um, or unripened plums, something like that, a bit, bit sweet, something sort of like a little bit of tang in there as well. Um, and the vanilla and the creaminess and the oak sort of pushes it along into the finish. Um, so it really is solidly made, 50%. Uh, um, now, unfortunately, I can't actually remember off the top of my head what the, the RRP was, I'm afraid. Um, but it's, uh, from memory, it's under 60 quid. Um, for a 70 centilitre bottle. In fact, I think it's under 50. Um, but you probably want to check that out uh, before you go to the airport with, with 50 quid um, and then turns out you're going to tennis short. So, that side, um, the Laddie 8 for me. Um, it's got a lot of good things going for it. It's, it's another positive step um, in distillers releasing age statements at younger uh, vintages. Which, uh, which is good. Um, the score for me um, is going to be 86 out of 100, I think. Um, it's solid, a lot of promise, a lot of good um, sort of like flavour profile. It's quite rich, it's got a lot going on. Um, and I think it's a, a solid addition to the range. Um, and I think there's a lot of good things to come. So, thanks for watching. See you soon.